Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Marie here and welcome back. Today, together with my sister Sophia, Hi. we are making a seven stretches for beginners video. So these are the beginner friendly exercises that you can start improving your flexibility with. So without the further ado, let's get into the video. And I just wanted to say that all of these stretches, you can really kind of work on the difficulty level, modify for yourself. So we are going to be showing the couple of options for each of the exercises. So really just choose your difficulty level and don't get stressed if something does not work out. Stretching is something that you want to work on consistently. And if you work every day on it, you are definitely going to see the progress. So don't get discouraged and let's just get started with the exercises. So seven stretches today gonna be a fun video so let's start on our mats let's start on our knees and let's start with the lunge stretch just a basic lunge from your knee so go with the right leg forward and just maybe assist yourself with the hands on the floor first and just push your hips forward a little bit just very slowly push forward and here you can again modify the version for yourself you can move the front foot further from yourself and it's going to make the stretch a little bit more extreme so really from this position push your hips front very slowly breathe in and breathe out not a lot of pressure please don't get injured just very carefully don't demand anything from your body, just ask a question and just gently. So from here, you can go and kind of sit straight in this position and you can get your arms up like this to further stretch the hip flexor and to stretch your hips and kind of sink down don't really hold your hips with your muscles here just try sinking down as much as possible here and just breathe and stretch so really just play with the positions of with your positions of your body here positions of your hips you can go down on your forearms here and tilt your leg a little bit for a little bit of a different stretch and again just sink down with your hips here so you can see how I'm with my foot here tilting it a little bit to the side for a bit of a different stretch so okay and go up and let's go for arms up one more time just breathing in breathe out sink a little bit more down and release okay so we're repeating the same thing to the left let's just change the legs okay arms down and hips down as well and just stretch straighten your front leg further if you want to make this stretch a bit more difficult Exhale. Yeah, and exhale and just release the tight muscles. Yes, right. So just stay here. Yes. Okay, yes, thank you, Sonia. So we'll just stay here for a couple more seconds. And now we are going to go up. First, you can place the arms on your knee here for the support. And let's go up with the arms very carefully. It should not hurt a lot. Just a little bit, just a gentle stretch. And let's go down. Let's go on the forearms in front of our left foot tilt the foot to the left a little bit and just stretch down you can pulse a little bit in each of these positions 
just to make it more effective. And then go up on your arms and go up with the arms up one more time. Breathe in and breathe out, sink down, sit, 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 and release. Okay, so this was the first stretch. Let's go into the second one. So again, standing on your knees, get the leg in front of you, and we are going to fold towards our front leg. So flex the front foot, and just gently, very slowly, stretching the hamstring, stretching the back of your thighs, just go front. Make sure, try not to curl your back too much, make sure to lengthen your spine and lengthen your back every time you do all of these folds forward. So just stretch forward, try to push your hips back a little bit and lengthen your spine. And really feel the stretch in this hamstring. So let's go front, very slowly. So you can count to 10 very slowly in each of these positions. Count to 10 and then release, for example. So let's do. That's what we used to do in rhythm gymnastics. Yes. As a little kid. Yeah. One, two, three, four, push further, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Okay, and let's do one more time with the ten counts. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, lengthen, nine, ten, and release. Very nice. Okay, so this is a very nice hamstring stretch. We are going to repeat it to the left side. So left leg in front of you, lengthen the spine, hips a little bit to the back, but not a lot, not like this, don't sink in. Sink down and just go forward. Let's stretch for a little bit. Long and straight back. And let's go. One, push it down. Two, three, four, five, push, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Very nice. Shake it out. And one more time. Go. One, Push it down, two, three, stretch that hamstring, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Okay, very good. Now we are going to sit. We are doing the wide straddle. So sit like this. For this exercise, the more, the harder version would be opening the legs a little bit further out. So for now, choose your level. We're going to just sit here like this. And then we're going to go to reach forward, to reach to the front. So from this position, just very carefully, this is very good for these muscles and tendons. So just carefully try not to do this with your hips here. So try to just sit here and just go reach forward and reach and exhale and just stretch it out. Okay, so obviously all of these exercises are very, very nice to do after a hard workout to really cool down and stretch and relax. So just let's sit here for a couple of seconds. Try to keep your legs straight and if you want to stretch even more, open your legs a little bit wider and very carefully with your hips, just go forward. And for example, from this position, you can play with the positions again and stretch a little bit towards your right leg. 
stretch towards your left leg. Let's do this one more time towards the right. Try to keep your hips on the floor if you can, towards the left. One more stretch to the front. And release. Beautiful, guys. Okay, so now we're doing the famous downward facing dog. So let's go into kind of standing on all fours and then going into kind of a plank position. So this is from yoga. The pose is called downward facing dog and it's one of the most popular yoga poses and it's so good for stretching. So go into a plank and then hips up and stretch your calves, stretch your hamstrings here as well. So try to keep your back straight and try to push your heels down on the floor and just to lengthen your body here and let's stay for a couple of seconds so look down onto your mat and here let's just go to demi point and back with your legs so just prance a little bit just to stretch our calves So here, keeping a slight bend in your elbows, not to hyperextend and into your arms. So just do these movements a little more. So let's just stay with the right leg straight and just stretch the calf and the hamstring. And now change the legs. The left leg is straight now and the right leg is bent. Stretch it. And for this exercise, if you wanna further develop the position, I find it more and more hard if you can just travel with your arms towards your legs and just stretch it very carefully. And initially you will be able to do like a full standing pike so like this just for the full back of your legs stretch so, okay very nice guys so this is just an option if you want it just travel towards your legs if you don't want just stay in the downward facing dog okay so now we are going to come seated we are going to bend our left leg and we are going to place our right ankle over the left knee and just here try to keep your back straight again and from this position very carefully and slowly push your knee right knee towards the left ankle so just very carefully this is so good like the butt muscles stretch and just push and push and release and push and release very good three let's do ten and four and five keep your back straight and six and seven and push further every time eight and nine and ten so now let's just sit here release your muscles don't get tensed up don't let your body stretch naturally you know don't tense it so just sit here if you're feeling a little fancy just push a little to the front just push a little push the right knee down and push forwards with your back a little bit and a few more times very gentle and okay and release let's change the legs so bend your right leg left ankle over the right knee 
and the same thing. So 10 pushes. Push one and two and exhale and four and five and further and seven and eight and nine and exhale and push it and sit here okay very nice beautiful so just breathing and sitting here for a couple of seconds and let's just push front if you want if you can let's do one and two and three and four and five and exhale and release okay good and now we're going to lie down on the mat it's going to be a lying one leg stretch front so lie down maybe it's better to first start with the bent leg stretch so just stretch your knee towards yourself just a little bit to loosen the muscles and then straighten the leg carefully pull it towards yourself and then grab your toe your big toe and just pull it towards yourself and pulse and pulse and three and four and five try to keep your hips square on the floor seven and eight and nine and ten and hold here one and two at your top at your maximum and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and release okay repeating the same thing on the left leg okay so just pull it Yes, this is true. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, this is totally true. 100% true. So let's just straighten the leg very carefully. Pull it, grab your shin, pull it towards yourself, grab your big toe, and go. Pulse. And two. And three. And four and five and six you can be here it's okay you can just pulse it holding your knee or holding your thigh it's okay and seven and eight and nine and ten and now hold at your maximum level maximum degree hold one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and release beautiful guys so the last the seventh exercise is going to be side stretch starting with the right leg so lie down on your side let's just maybe bend the leg that is on the floor or you can straighten however you prefer. Let's just get first the bent leg again. Just push it towards yourself, the knee towards the shoulder, just for a little bit. And then straighten the leg, grab it by the heel or by the calf or by the knee or the thigh, what, whatever is more comfortable for you, and just pull it gently towards yourself the same thing so go one and two and three it is it feels better to flex the foot for this exercise seven and eight and nine and ten and hold now just for a couple of seconds pull it towards yourself 
and release. Okay, and now transfer to the other side. The same thing on your forearm. Just gently pull the knee towards yourself. And let's straighten. Inhale and exhale and start. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Keep breathing. Relax as much as you can anyway and and release okay so this is it for the beginners stretching hopefully you enjoyed these exercises modify the versions for yourself let me know if you can see the progress if you are doing these exercises for a couple of days let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much sonia for joining yet again and okay guys i love you all very very much subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one and more ballet related content and i will see you in the next videos bye bye